inheritance in java is a topic in this session inheritance means one class will acquire the properties of another class the class from where this properties will be coming will be known as the base class or the super class and the and the property which will be inherited to another class which will be used in another class will be known as the derived class child class or subclass so inheritance supports reusability of the programming code so let us go for further discussion on this inheritance inheritance can be defined as a process where one class acquires the property of another predefined class and with the use of inheritance the information is made manageable in a hierarchical order so using this inheritance we can enforce the reusability of the programming code so what will happen we can define one class where the basic properties will be defined the basic operations will be defined and those properties and operations can be inherited onto other classes as when required let us suppose i have defined one class that is a person so person has got some basic member variables and the basic member functions so now a dancer is also a person a cricketer is also a person and teacher like myself is also one person so we are having some dedicated separate properties and functions will be there but the basic properties of the person class will be always common to all of them so that is the basic uh, inherent feature of this inheritance the class which inherits the property of other class is known as a subclass derived class also known as the child class but in our java we usually use the term subclass and the class whose uh, properties are inherited is known as a superclass base class or the parent class but in java we prefer to like to call it as superclass to define a derived class the extends keyword will be used in our java code and it inherits the property of the base class which properties will be inherited that will be defined depending upon the scope of those properties that means in under which scope private public or protected under which scope this particular or in the default scope rather in which uh, scope these variables or the methods are defined they, that will decide whether the property or the respective methods will be inherited to the child class or subclass or not in java multiple inheritance is not possible in case of multiple inheritance we will be having multiple base classes and only one derived class so that is not directly possible in case of java otherwise single inheritance multi level inheritance hierarchical inheritance then hierarchical multiple that is known also known as a hybrid inheritance then hierarchical then also multiple hierarchical so different kinds of inheritances are possible but one kind of inheritance is not allowed in our java programming not directly that is our multiple inheritance so let us go for further discussions with some practical demonstration on this inheritance in this demonstration we shall be discussing about java inheritance at first we are defining one base class the name of the base class is employee which is having protected double salary and that is our 30000 d here d stands for the double so this particular 30000 is of the type double here so here we are having one uh, constructor the name of the constructor will be same as that of the class name that is our employee and one line of code is there to print one message this developer is uh, is nothing but a subclass and this subclass means the inherited class and where the base class or the super class here is the employee here also we are defining another class that is a subclass or inherited class and this particular subclass is also having the same base class that is employee in the both cases we are defining bonus here it is 20,000 here it is 10,000 and here it is 20,000 and this is the developer constructor and there is a tester constructor and only one string will get printed in the constructor from the constructor body so this is the uh, total structure of the classes and here we are having one display salary you can find that this particular salary was under the protected section that means they are inheritable so that's why this salary can be accessed from the derived class that is our uh, developer and this tester also this salary is accessible so here when we are printing the display salary we are just adding the salary and the bonus 
the salary and the bonus bonus is nothing but the instance variable of this developer and salary is the inherited variable inherited instance variable and that is the salary and they are getting added and the sum will get printed similarly here also the bonus is initialized with the value 20,000 that is a instance variable under this tester class and this salary is the inherited instance variable so that's why they are getting added they can be added and the sum of the sum of them will be the total salary going to get printed so here we are having the class that is the inheritance that is a public class inheritance inheritance or java is the name of the uh, file name of the source code and here we are defining the main function and under this main function we are defining the developer class object and instantiating with the developer constructor and tester class object instantiating with the tester constructor in the both cases we are displaying the uh, display salary method from the respective objects here so if you go on printing you can find here it is printing 40,000 it is printing 50,000 because the salary you can find here the salary here in both the cases uh, after getting inherited the salary uh, inherited instance variable will be having 30,000 and this 30,000 plus 40,000 uh, for 10,000 that is a 40,000 will be the salary for the developer and 30,000 plus 20,000 will be the salary that is a 50,000 will be the salary for the tester here so as a result of that we are getting the salaries got printed as 40,000 and 50,000 for the developer and for the tester respectively I think now you are getting this idea how the inheritance can get implemented in Java code thanks for watching this video